welcome back everyone so there are plenty of nifty command that you can use to fix issues with your pc take a peek at your pc operations and even manage files and directories so in this video i will be sharing nine windows cmd command prompt that you should know in 2024 so in order to bring up the command prompt you will have to click on your window search type cmd then you have to right click on it and click run as admin so that you should have the inner permission to run all kind of command click on it then click on yes and this kind of black window of the command prompt will be up so yeah the very first command that i will be sharing will be the task list so just type task list and the moment you hit the enter key find four different column the first one give you the image name the name of the task the second one give you the process id the third one will be a type of a session and the last one will be the memory usage and this can be really useful in order to find out that what all the process is running in the background and what kind of memory consumption they are occupying and now after monitoring all kind of tasks running here let's say if you want to kill any kind of task and for example let's say i want to close this one brave crash handler.exe so you just need to copy the pid number that is on the first column you can copy it that is 11880 then you need to scroll down and type another command that will be task kill space forward slash pid space forward slash then right click and paste the pid number again give a space forward slash and letter f so as of now i'm getting the error but of course if you run any task that is closable or that can be killed easily so that process will be closed from here only so very useful command from where you can monitor all kind of operations all kind of tasks running in the background you can find out the memory usage consumed by that particular task and now let's move to the next command that is chk dsk and again you will need the administrative privileges to run this kind of command so just type chk dsk and hit the enter key and it will let you know the type of the file system is ntfs and basically this command will be checking for the disk for any kind of error and if you feel that your pc is running slow or giving you some kind of issues then you can use this command to check the disk for any kind of file system error so here you can see the command is being completed and it gives you all kind of detail like what is the total disk space how many files are there how many files are being indexed what is the number of the batch sectors and a part of that you can also use some kind of advanced chk dsk command for example if you type chk dsk give a space type forward slash and letter f and this time if you hit the enter key this will be checking for the disk error but not any kind of bad sectors so you can see it says chk dsk cannot run because the volume is in used by another process would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restart so what will happen if you press the y key the next time when the computer restart it will be checking for all kind of disk error so very useful command that you need to keep in your mind and then you can also try chk dsk space for a slash letter r and this will be locating the bad sector on the targeted hard disk and try to recover the readable information from the bad sectors and once you hit the enter key again it will ask you that would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time so again you can press the y key so that the next time when the computer restart it can check for all kind of bad sectors all right now let's move with the next useful command that is sfc space forward slash scan now now you might have heard about this command which is a very popular command and i use this command very frequently because it helps you to check the system file issues and check the integrity of your operating system by checking protection system file so if your pc isn't working properly or any kind of problem you are facing then this is the first thing that i would recommend you to try on your computer and once you hit the enter key this will start scanning and looking for any kind of integrity violation so you will have to wait until it's all been 100 percent completed And once the command get completed it will let you know whether there is any problem or not like on my end you can see it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation so everything is okay on my end but probably on your end it can say that there was some integrity violation and it has been automatically fixed even it give you some other information as well that you can find out
all right now let's move with the another command that is very useful for the people who want to hide or unhide any kind of document any kind of folder on their windows pc and laptop so instead of using any kind of third party tool or any kind of software so let's say if i bring up my file explorer and go to the documents here so let's say if i want to hide this folder by the name wondershare so what you have to do here in the file explorer only on the top you have to click on the address box and type here cmd hit the enter key and this will bring up the command prompt on the same location and you can see that it says documents so once the command comes up now here you have to type a simple command that will be att rib space plus sign then h space plus sign s space plus r give a space and then you have to type the folder name so on my end it's wondershare so i will type wondershare and that's it now if i hit the enter key so you can see the folder has been almost disappeared and if i go back here and refresh the page bingo now you can see the folder has been disappeared all right so no one can view this folder now even no one will have any kind of idea that you have hided any folder on this particular location now if you want to bring it back then again you have to open the command prompt on the same window and instead of plus sign you have to replace it with the minus sign so let me quickly do that all right so instead of plus i have made it to minus h minus s minus r then the folder name and now if i hit the enter key so you will find that the folder has been appeared again so using this simple command you can quickly hide or unhide any kind of folder on your windows 11 or windows 10. all right now let's move with the next command that is a very important command for that you just have to type ver in the black window and if you hit the enter key so it will quickly give you the information about your product like we are using microsoft windows and this is basically the version so many times you have to find out this kind of detail and with this simple command ver you can find out the version of your operating system not only this if you type winver instead of war and hit the enter key so this will bring up another box the graphical box and it will display that what kind of operating system you're using what is the version 23h2 24h2 or 22h2 what is the build number and even give you the detail that you are using the windows 11 pro home edition or what kind of operating system you are using so again many times you need to know that what kind of operating system you are using what kind of version you are using so with this simple command you can bring this information and now next we have the system info another useful command so type system info and with this command you can see everything about your system you will see the physical memory the virtual memory the network card the hyper-v status the manufacturer of your computer the processor or even when windows was first installed and again it's great for the technical folks who value sharing this kind of information so just type system info and hit the enter key now it will be loading all kind of detail and if you check here you find all kind of information that what is your operating system name version manufacturer configuration the product id what is the system manufacturer name that is asus your system type is 32 bit or 64 bit how many processor has been installed a part of that you can see tons of information about your ram the virtual ram your bios information your network card what kind of network card you have on this device and if you scroll down you even find the hyper v requirement all right so again a very useful command and anytime you need to know all kind of these information you can quickly know using this simple command and now the next command is the ip config and if you type ip config and hit the enter key and you can see that it display all kind of network detail information so if you want to know more about your ip address ip config is the best command for the networking task on your windows operating system it lists out the network you might be connected to the subnet detail the gateway detail and other critical networking information and i personally use this command to grab all kind of networking information the network adapter information on my computer and on my router so now here you can see the ip address for the wireless for the wi-fi network this is your ip address this is the default gateway and this is your ip version 6. similarly for the ethernet you can find out the detail about the ethernet adapter 
So make sure that you also remember the simple command and in future if you need any help uh, related to the network or you do any kind of troubleshooting, network troubleshooting, then this command will be surely helping you a lot. And again related to the network, the next command will be the ping. And if you type ping and hit the enter key, now this will list you all kind of options that you can use. And you might have heard about the ping command. And this is one of the most useful command that you can check the connectivity between the two different hosts. And you can also check the lost packet. So let's say if I want to ping any kind of website like www.youtube.com. Now this can be any other website. And if I hit the enter key. So you can see that it's getting the reply from this particular IP address that is youtube.com. And that indicate that I have the proper internet connectivity between this host name that is YouTube and between my computer. And if there is any kind of packet loss, you can also find all this information here. And in case if you are not getting the reply, so that means your internet connection is not able to connect to that particular host or particular website. Okay, and now let's move to the last command that is the disk part. And if you type disk part, so you will enter the disk partition. And this is another important command to manage all kind of your disk, volume and partition in your device. And you can use many kind of command here. Like if you want to know that how many disks are available in your device. So you type list disk and hit the enter key and it shows me that I have two disks connected to my computer. And if I want to know more detail about any particular disk, so first I will select it and I will type select disk. And let's say if I want to know more about the disk zero, so I will type zero. Once this disk will be selected, now I can run multiple kind of command. Like I can view all kind of volume. And it will let me know that how many partition, how many volume are being created inside this disk. Similarly, from here only, you can delete any kind of volume. You can clear any kind of volume if you want to format it or if you want to resize it. There are tons of things that you can do it out. If you need a detailed video on this topic, then let me know in the comment section. So that's all guys for today. And these are the best and the nine most useful CMD command in the Windows operating system. And I recommend each and every Windows user that they must know about all these command. So hopefully guys, you found this video information. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.